All right, guys, I know it's been a while. I've been extremely busy, but let's show you the internals of this water-cooled ASIC mining machine. All right, so I know that we wanted to get a teardown of this unit and see how this thing is working and what is happening. I've been keeping it out here in the mining room at very high temperature just to see the, the stability, sorry about that, um, of the unit and to see how it will hold up against this heat. Um, all right, so overall I have the machine running. Let me show you. So I just rebooted it a couple hours ago, three hours ago, two hours, 58 minutes. It's staying about 79 degrees Celsius with an average of about 41 terahash. Now, <clears throat> it's currently over 100 degrees in this room, even before the miner. All right, so before the miner, say about 93 degrees. It's hot, guys. It is hot. All right, so first things first, I want to show you inside the unit. It looks like that is the power supply over on the top has four individual fans removing that heat as well as the pump and the internal hash boards now we can't see a lot because i have the lights on and i have the whole unit on um but let's go ahead and turn this unit off all right that's much better okay that's much better all right guys so if we look back here we can see a little blue board. I believe that is the control board. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I think. Um, the power supply is on the top hand portion. And it looks like there is four fans that are dispersing the heat just from the power supply unit. Now here is the actual hashing board you can see the chips in there you see if I can zoom in a little bit sorry it's not the best angle guys but you can see this is where it's going down so this is the water cooled system you see everything's here in full loops that's circulating into these radiators there's actually two of them there's one right here and then there's another right here and it looks like they have fans on the inside as well as the outside, which is pretty smart. All right, you can also see the pump right through there, the two clips. that's the internals so now you guys can actually get a little glance I'm gonna see if I can get deeper in here so you guys can see these chips better and these wires or the uh, water tubing sorry but you see it looks like the chips are literally just squished between two aluminum plates that it's drawing the heat away from there running into the radiators being cooled by the radiators and then going back in now also if we take a look at the unit it has been outside for what I think almost a month now I'm not sure but you guys can see it looks like some decent little buildup some like yellowish tinge to it what it is I'm not exactly sure all right, but you guys can see the unit is not working, no more response. So let's go ahead and turn the unit back on, see if we get a response. I'm going to refresh this again for you guys. So no response. All right, so now let's turn it back on. Right, and then we can see the internals again just to kind of see it working. Now 
And you can see a little bit better in there now as well. You can really see that pump. That is a really heavy duty pump. That's actually a very high quality pump. I know from experience. And pretty expensive as well. Show you guys some internal temperatures as well. I'm getting it directly on the actual boards, and it looks like we're only at about 131 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, that's pretty incredible. Let's test these tubes. So it looks like about 100, about the same as running through these tubes. are hot and expected to be but you can see that it's definitely cooling it down closer to the radiator. But that's it guys I mean this is your water cooled ASIC mining machine. I really hope to see more companies come out with this type of hardware because this is just absolutely amazing. I'm really enjoying using the water-cooled system versus any of my air-cooled systems. Um, and I'm also only pulling around, I think it was 2100 watts, even though I showed 2300 last time. Um, but it looks like it's draining less wattage as it is fully hashing and stable. So overall guys it looks good it's still running i'll keep you updated let's see how this thing's running in the next month and if it's still achieving this miracle 38 to 48 tera hash um it's just incredible so if it's still doing that in the next month and still running good then it looks like it's good to go let's go ahead and check the machine so we're refreshing and as you guys can see we are back online all right, so that's it right now for the ASIC Miner update and the water-cooled system. I'm really enjoying it, like I told you before, based on the hardware. The hardware is absolutely amazing. I really hope that the new companies start to integrate these systems as well. All right, guys, for now, Digi out.